everything that I'm making right now and everything that I'll be able to offer soon. And let me do the math on how this uh, uh, entrepreneur startup visa is going to work once I get legal clearance from the United States to relocate with Aaron. I mean, the more Wingnut does on talking parents and, you know, coming to court with nothing but perjury and no evidence, stating false cases that I'm instantly able to blow with the evidence. That is with everything involved in this case. It's almost certain, and then with the feds helping me, that I will be able to take my son wherever we need to go to live in safety post-slavery and never become someone's property again. But, you know, with this Canadian startup visa, this entrepreneur grant, um, I need either my company to be worth $200,000 and have 100 employees, which, oh, let's just say I'm not there quite exactly yet per se, <laughs> or I could qualify for, with a list of uh, financier startups to, um, you know, get a grant for $200,000 uh, uh, for business expenses and possibly even some more money for personal survival expenses. So that's part of the program, possibly, if these grantors would do that. You know, it depends on a case-by-case -case basis in an application and etc. But my application will start by explaining, you know, the future that my son and I can have in Canada as artists, as, you know, anything that Aaron wants to do, his, the sky is his limit. He can do anything for the nation of Canada that he wants if he's not a fourth-generation predator wackadoo. But with my math, you know, I'm not going to be asking these financiers to, hey, man, can I just, like, borrow, I don't know, 200 large, bro, man? You cool, man? Oh, I'm good for it, dude, man. I promise, man. I, I, I'm not writing a letter like that. <laughs> oh, that's what my letter's going to be, is how would you like to make $2 million on your 200000 Because here's what I can do with the supplies in my shopping cart. I have a two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars, something like that. I forget the numbers, but it's three hundred or less. I can get wire and beads enough to make a hundred and thirty, hundred and fifty, something like that sets of these earrings and bracelets just on this one piece. If I bank everything on Hippie Eclectic Hope on this set right here. I could take a $300 or less shopping cart and turn it into almost $200,000 in inventory by making, what, 130, 150 sets of $15 a piece, you know, and still be competitive with other artists, have a superior product for a very competitive price, and free shipping. <laughs> and run this all over the world, but hey, I'd really like to settle in Canada because you know what, they're really awesome up there and I want to be part of that. And I want my son to grow up and be a Canadian. Not to be a fourth generation delusional wackadoo serial predator who thinks he's an outlaw biker because of the slavery and rape laws that are standing here in Denver, Colorado. I need to fight for freedom. I mean, for $250, $300, somewhere in there, I can make you almost $2,000 worth of inventory. And with a much more diverse, I've got nine different kinds of stones and shells and pearls and whatnots in my shopping cart waiting. I'm drooling on this stuff like a junkie wanting my rock fix. <laughs> sober, sober, but just tripping 
looking at my shopping cart and what I can do with it. So I'm not going to be asking these financial institutions and companies and co-ops, Hey man, can you do me a solid and loan me some cash, bro? I can tell them, hey, I'm here trying to make you $2 million on your $200,000 investment. You know, well, not the entire profit margin, but, you know, if I could multiply your investment by almost 10, you know, give you a third of that, I'm still sitting in clover. This is going to be an amazing setup. The road to Canada is going to be paved with stone chips and Czechoslovakia and crystals and pot leaves and peace signs and copper wire and other matching charms and these lovely stones and gems, you know, these I'm getting from Cherry Creek in Denver. I'll be able to maintain Spectrum Gems as my supplier when I move wherever. She will ship to Timbuktu. It's cool. So all of this... My shop can go with me wherever I go in the whole world as long as I can score internet in a shipping lane. I got you for pretty, pretty, pretties that are better than what you've seen for competitive prices. So check out Hypnoclectic Hope on Etsy because this is how my son and I are going to be able to secure our freedom. I get out from under Thomas Stetzer and never be property again. Whether Thomas Stetzer or Jennifer Torrington in our district judge seat <laughs> on borrowed time, no matter what they're trying to do, Aaron and I are going to be just fine. We are going to Canada. We're going to be safe and well. We're going to have a prosperous future. So, but it's got to start somewhere. And that start is on Etsy. So, prettiest of pleases, feel free to come take a look. Scope out what I've got. And get a bookmark in your mobile browser. Because there will be much more product coming soon. Thank you very much for your time and for your support and for all your hippie eclectic love. Is we need your help in order to get anywhere. Otherwise, I'm going to be property forever.